Hello and welcome to another episode of Species and News, where every week we bring you fascinating updates about species and conservation efforts from around the globe. From rare bats to critically endangered sea creatures, let's explore these incredible species and their unique stories. In a rare and exciting discovery, the Broughton's free-tailed bat has been spotted in Delhi's Yamuna Biodiversity Park. This exclusive species, found primarily in India's Western Ghats, has only one known breeding colony and small colonies in Meghalaya and Cambodia. With its large size, huge ears extending beyond its muzzle and bicolored velvet fur, this bat has a unique appearance. These creatures are vital to the ecosystem, regulating insect population and even helping with pollination. Their preference for dark, damp and slightly warm environments make caves the perfect home for these nocturnal creatures. India is making strides in conservation with the first ever Ganges River dolphin tagging in Assam. As part of Project Dolphin, this initiative aims to protect the National Aquatic Animal of India, the Ganges River dolphin. These near-blind dolphins use echolocation to navigate through the waters. Found in the rivers of India, Bangladesh and Nepal, these creatures live in calm, deep waters, driving to escape danger. Sadly, they are listed as endangered. But with conservation efforts like Project Dolphin, we can hope to see their numbers rise. Next, we head to Mediterranean Sea, where researchers have tagged the young shotfin Mako shark. Known as the fastest shark in the world, this predator is critically endangered. With its hydrodynamic design, a pointed snout, triangular dorsal fin and large tail, the shotfin mako can travel at incredible speeds. These sharks are highly migratory, traveling vast distances every year. Unfortunately, threats like overfishing and bycatch put their future at risk. Conservation efforts are crucial to preserving this powerful species. According to IUCN, shotfin mako shark is under critically endangered and Appendix 2 or species under sites. Next, we have Dulcibella kamanchaka. In Atacama Trench, researchers have discovered a new species of predatory amphipod, Dulcibella kamanchaka. This fast-swimming predator hunts other amphipods, playing an important role in the deep sea food web. At just under 4 cm long, Dalchibella kamanchaka thrives in the pitch black depths of ocean, its pale colouring helping it survive in the darkness. Next species in line is Marble Duck. A rare sighting has taken place in Sultanpur National Park. The Marble Duck, last seen here in 1990, has been in sight again. Known for its black bill and grey-brown plumage, this small duck migrates from the central and southwestern Palearctic region with a range extending from Central Asia to Northwest Africa and the Iberian Peninsula. The marble duck is commonly referred to as the marble teal. Ducks from colder regions migrate south during winter to warmer areas such as North Africa and the Indian subcontinent. The marble duck is gregarious, non-territorial and generally non-aggressive. These ducks prefer temporary wetlands and thrive in brackish water. Sadly, their population is declining as they are now listed as near-threatened on the IUCN Red List. Next, we have the Indian star tortoise. The Indian star tortoise has recently been identified in two genetically distinct groups. These tortoises are threatened by habitat loss and the illegal pet trade. Found in semi-arid forests, grasslands and even in people's homes across the world, these tortoises are symbol of India's diverse wildlife. However, their population is declining and they are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. The species has a high tolerance for habitats that are seasonally wet or dry, with many populations inhabiting areas with a monsoon or rainy season followed by a long, hot and dry period. It is endemic to the subcontinent and resides in arid pockets of northwest India, bordering Pakistan, South India and Sri Lanka. However, members of the species have also been found in people's homes as far afield as Canada and the US. Indian star tortoises are mainly herbivores and mostly eat grasses, herbaceous leaves, flowers, etc. The highly fragmented habitat of the species is greatly influenced by an increased level of urbanization and agricultural practices throughout its range. Finally, we have the olive ridley turtle. The olive ridley turtle is one of the smallest sea turtles in the world. Known for their unique mass nesting event called Aribada, these turtles gather in large numbers to lay their eggs, with Orisha being the largest nesting site globally. Found in the tropical regions of the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic Oceans, 
the olive ridley is under threat from pollution and fishing activities, with conservation efforts aiming to protect these remarkable creatures. The olive ridley turtle is protected under Wildlife Protection Act 1972 under the Schedule 1. It is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List and is included in Appendix 1 of sites. From rare Wharton's free-tailed bat to the iconic olive ridley turtle, these species show us just how important conservation is. By supporting efforts like these, we can help protect our planet's incredible wildlife for future generations. Stay tuned with Next IS for more species and news. Thank you.